Uh, we have the next question from Alejandro, who wants to talk about masculinity. All right. Um, um, hi, my name is Alejandro Galicia. I'm representing Sacramento. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm affiliated with the Center at Sierra Health Foundation, and you both already kind of touched up on it, but from the time uh, boys and men of color are born, we're given this... Um, this narrow, this narrow definition of what, what it means to be a man, and how can we begin to change the narrative that is currently forcing us to follow a path that doesn't align with our identities, including our brothers are a part of the LGBTQ plus community. Good, that's a great question. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's something that I think all of us have to uh, recognize that being a man is first and foremost being a good human. And th that means being responsible, being reliable, working hard, being kind, being respectful, uh, being compassionate, and the notion that somehow defining yourself as a man is dependent on are you able to put somebody else down instead of lifting them up? Are you able to dominate as opposed to support? Uh, that is a old view, and a, a, a view that thankfully I see a lot of young people rejecting. Um, because you know, each of us have gifts that express themselves in different ways. Uh, and some of us have gifts of art and, and music, and, and what we're really attuned to is, is people's feelings and sensitivities. And that's magic, and we need that. And then some people have gifts that have to do with being an amazing athlete or have to do with uh, being great at math. Uh, and, and what we want to do is create a space in which young men of color and young men generally don't have to feel as if for me to be respected and admired in my community, I've got to act a certain way. Uh, a lot of the violence and pain that we suffer in our communities arises out of young men who nobody said to them what it means to be respected. And so they're looking around and, they're, well, I guess being respected means I might shoot you or I can make you back down or I can disrespect you and there's nothing you can do about it. And, and that is a self-defeating model for being a man. Uh, so, so we have to constantly lift up examples of... Uh, examples of, of successful men who don't take that approach. And uh, I, I, that's hard to do in this society because, uh, you know, you were talking about music. Let's face it, a lot of hip-hop and rap music is built around me showing how I got more money than you, I can disrespect you and you can't do nothing about it, I'm going to talk about you and punk you. And, and ironically, that actually shows the vulnerability that you feel. I, I mean, let, 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 let me say this. Like, if you are really confident about your financial situation, you probably are not going to be wearing an eight-pound chain around your neck. <laughs> because you know, oh, I got bank. I don't have to show you how much I got. I feel good. If you are very confident 
about your sexuality, you don't have to have eight women around you twerking. I mean, why, 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 why are you, why, why are you all like, you seem stressed that you gotta be <laughs> acting that way. Cause, cause I've got one woman who I'm very happy with. Right? So, and she's a strong woman. So, I, I, I just, uh, I think part of the challenge we have is, is that because oftentimes racism historically in the society s sends a message that you are less than and weak, we feel like we've got to compensate by exaggerating certain stereotypical ways that men are supposed to act. And that's a trap that we fall into, that we have to pull out of. Um, if you're confident about your strength, you don't need to, to show me by you putting somebody else down. Show me how strong you are that you can lift somebody else up and, and treat somebody well and be respectful and, and lead in that fashion. So, anything you want to add, sir? I've just been mentored right there. Okay. That's amazing. Okay. Wow, thank you, Mr. President, for that. Uh, I'm floored. That means a lot to me, too.